welcome again to my youtube channel of judiant and since a long time you may be missing me and i was a little bit busy with my work schedule so i couldn't upload videos on judiant and today i'll be discussing one of the important rules out of the two major rules that is rule number 1 and rule number 2 and how to use in judiant that will be unfolding and how profound is this rule number 1 that also will be discussing and the primary in the background we need to understand before deep driving this rule number 1 let me explain you what is this rule number 1 state the surface or surfaces when you talk about multiple geometry when you want to manufacture so before that you go for cad design so as far as your cad design is concerned when you deal with the features those are the surfaces of the regular feature and there what is that uh, this rule says that the surface or the surfaces of a regular feature of size fos feature of size shall not extend beyond a boundary envelope a perfect form at mmc at mmc the maximum material condition it should not extend beyond that that means if you look at this imaginary two lines this particular two imaginary lines is the rule or you could say is the boundary and when you say that phi is 10.2 or maybe 10 you imagine that it is a straight uh, cylinder and it will fit inside this hole is not like that it could bend also as far as the micro geometry previous understanding and when you understand this from manufacturing point of view you cannot manufacture 100% straight part there will be variation so what could be this variation in spite of all this bend and all also your product or your feature should fit inside this hole this is what the rule number 1 says this is most simple but most profound rule so if you see this two condition here you have one range 10.2 to 10.1 so my variation is 0.1 such so far as that 0.1 is concerned it could bend or it could bend in we be any other shape but still it should fit so that is the primary requirement you cannot reject if it should fit within this particular condition and it will comply with this condition so where only a tolerance of size is specified the limits of size of an individual feature of size fos prescribed the extent to which the variation in its geometric form as well as its size are allowed so this form it could be cylindrical but still it could tilt it could bend and still compatibly you can fit within that boundary that is what rule number 1 says so the surface or surfaces of a regular fos feature of size whatever that could be a shaft or that could be your hole but as far as that fo is concerned it should not extend beyond the boundary or that envelope and that is known as the perfect form of mmc so as far as this condition is concerned we never concentrated on lmc but we concentrated primarily on the mmc and if you look at the variation in terms of your forms or its size that are allowed that will be within that typical envelope so no element of a feature shall extend beyond this mmc boundary of this perfect form perfect form does not signify here that it has to be completely straight but whatever the shape you manufacture that should fit within that boundary shape it could bend also maybe 1 mm bend or it could be based on the requirement can bend 2 mm if there is a 10 to 10.2 but still it is fitting in that that is the maximum conditions or the perfect form at mmc and it should fit within that envelope and no element of a feature shall extend beyond that mmc boundary at a perfect form and what happens is there is no perfect form boundary requirement at lmc because that is the lower material condition but as far as mmc is condition it can expand right so when you manufacture one hole there only typically you see that it could expand further but as far as shaft is concerned so you never focus on this 
typical condition so what is the maximum material condition for your shaft this whatever max maximum in manufacture but as far as the hole is concerned the mmc is typical so if you want to understand this you can refer my other videos where i very clearly discussed about mmc and lmc and there is no perfect form requirement in boundary this is an advanced concept but rule number one is very simple but is very profound as well and let us move further to unfold this what is it not all about we, uh, we also need to understand this many people they understand that okay what is it all about we also need to know its limitation what is it not all about so the simplest meaning of the rule number one is that mmc the feature is on perfect form at mmc the feature has to be at the perfect form for example we are considering a shaft with a diameter of 10.1 to 10.2 within that it will vary then mmc is of course the 10.2 the maximum condition now assume we have manufactured and all with all the variation 10.1 and then according to rule number one the part should be in perfect form that it should have perfect straightness circularity and cylindricity as well and we are not mentioning all these things with respect to rule number one we are saying that perfect form that perfect form signifies directly the straightness circularity and cylindricity so whenever you see this type of nodes in your gd and your manufacturing drawings then that is all about your rule number one even when you are using your company is using gd and and where you see that rule number one boundary or inside a node you can see this 5 10.1 that means it is rule number one that is no other variations and perfect form of mmc and you need to understand the straightness circularity and cylindricity is implied and you need to apply but the location is all about it could be anywhere this typical rule never dominates your location let us say this is at the center or it could offset to left or right side still you need to accept so you have to specify other location tolerance in order to signify your typical location that means there is a limitation which is very important so this rule is not about locating the parts it is about fitting inside that typical envelope so if you manufacture in all this scenario you need to accept as per rule number one so that it should have a perfect straightened circularity and cylindricity that's all so it is not about locating so note that rule number one does not specify any requirement for location or orientation even let say another this hole is perpendicular to another hole and if you manufacture this at a certain angle also but your form is perfect then still you have to accept because you have to specify one perpendicularity or other tolerance so it's not about any other than straightness circularity and cylindricity please mind it so this is a very simple role but i find when i work with closely with the manufacturing industry with the design people so in many simple cases parts you only typically use rule number one and manufacture no need to you know waste your time and go for the detailing inside the gd and so just rule number one can be used in that case in my coming series i'll be deep driving into rule number two there is another rule so where also you can see significant conditions where you can take the benefit and advantage so please subscribe my channel and if you have any doubt please post it i'll get back to you and whenever i get time you can request also your videos on gdnt which you would like to have thank you very much